Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And unlike Disney, Paramount Plus has decided they're not going to edit old content. Good. They're not going to censor old content. Now, they could be uh, feeling invigorated by Top Gun Maverick kicking all kinds of butt. Uh, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 did really well, but for some reason, Star Trek is it was Star Trek. But anyway, Paramount said they're not going to censor old content. Again, you know, other platforms are either taking shows off mm. or taking... Removing episodes. Removing episodes, or in Disney's case, just going absolutely freaking bonkers. Um, you know, putting putting fake hair on... on oh my God. On Daryl Hannah. Looks like she's wearing a grass skirt. Yeah. Hair skirt. And with Disney Plus in particular, like you can't trust the content to be the same from day to day. They are constantly mm -mm. Uh, updating old content. And of course, there's been a lot of conversations about uh, really old movies like, you know, Gone with the Wind. Should we be allowed to see it? And I personally have always felt the answer is, yeah, you know, you can disclaim it and say, look, this movie is really, really old and some of the stuff in it is pretty racist, but it was made when it was made and that's how things were. And look how far we've come. Right. Uh, you know, but Disney wants to pretend that it never made any any spicy movies ever. Right. Whatever happened to Song of the South, Disney? We have to just forget we ever made that movie. Right, because it looks bad now. Yeah, because it makes them look bad. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about this. Uh, i got to give a hat tip to Bounding in the Comics. Uh, fantastic thumbnail, by the way. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> I know, it is funny. People were wondering if they were going to, you know, edit Tropic Thunder on Paramount Plus, and uh, no, the answer is they're not going Never to. Never go full Disney. Never go full Disney, there we go. So we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 271,000 subs. Woo uh, thank you so much for the support. We do talk about pop culture. We've been talking about censorship and Disney in particular, being very, very censor happy on Disney Plus. Like mm -hmm. they keep applying current year S&P standards and practices, and we did a whole video about uh, Alex Hirsch with Gravity Falls trying to get stuff through the the Disney gauntlet, and it changes like every week. Yep. Something new is offensive or whatever could be misconstrued. and So they're going back, and they're just like scrubbing their entire archive. They're putting content warnings on Peter Pan. They're, you know, kids can't watch some of the classic content that, uh, you know, they've got in their theme parks even. You know, because it's, it's problematic now. Someone might get offended. Somebody might get offended. But yeah, apparently uh, Paramount Plus doesn't care, which is, again, uh, pretty interesting given that uh, Star Trek is in the state it's in right now. But this originally came from The Guardian. Uh, Paramount, we won't remove content from eras with different sensibilities. Again, how can you learn from history if you rewrite history right you know you can't learn from it uh, boss of the media company says it would be a mistake to censor art because it may offend some people today more and more companies are starting to catch on catch on because yeah. audiences clearly it's uh, audiences want to see the old stuff people grew up with the old stuff changing it doesn't doesn't make it go away it just pisses people off and then they're making good choices like with uh Top Gun, you know, it didn't go all in on the Hollywood agenda and it kicked all kinds of ass. And, you know, even though it didn't, like, I mean, even Lightyear, it didn't do well, but the media ran with, oh, it's because you they hate gay people or lesbians. I'm like, that's not why. That was such a minor part of the film. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have some gross people that are mad about it, but most people didn't care. It just from my understanding, it was a boring movie and it wasn't good and it wasn't Buzz Lightyear and people were confused. And they don't want to go to the theater right now. Parents apparently were, you heard from a, a friend that parents Mr. Were. Milo did a review on um, Pirates and Princesses. And he said during the time he was there, two families got up and walked out. Because it's boring. Yeah, it's It had nothing boring. to do with it's not the buzz. kiss. It was, yeah, it's not Buzz. It's not Tim Allen. It's not the Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. It's, and you can't tell me that from everything I've heard about this movie, this does not seem like the kind of movie that Andy would geek out about. Right. Like, and so I'm just saying, you know, it's like the other places like Disney have been censoring everything mm -hmm. and audiences don't like it. And they're going to try a different approach because, you know, going back to the formula, back to what works um, and just making good movies that happen to be organically diverse works well and people like it. Imagine that. It's almost like they've been doing that for decades before the last few years. So the uh, CEO of Paramount, Bob Backish said his company had thousands of shows in its back catalog. By definition, 
you have some things that were made in a different time and reflect different sensibilities. I don't believe in censoring art that was made historically. That's probably a mistake. It's all on demand. You don't have to watch anything you don't want to. Exactly. That's a good point. Why are people so offended about content in shows and movies and video games that they have no intention of ever? There are shows and movies and things that I know I'm not going to like. I just don't watch them. It's as easy as that. I just don't. I know what gets me is when they tell you not to watch something. Like, if you don't like it, don't watch it then. And then you don't watch it, and then it fails. Why didn't you watch it? Because you, you you must be a bigot. It's like, you told me not to watch it if it wasn't something I, didn't, I wasn't going to like, so I didn't watch it. Yeah, he's basically like, if it's not for you, don't watch it. And they, they do bring up on the uh, Bounding in the Comics article, the episode of Community that was never meant to be racist. What, the one with the drow or whatever? With uh, Dr. Ken being the drow. Yeah, they they. It was a that. character from the, the game. It had nothing to do with being racist. Yeah, um, 30 Rock. I guess they pulled several episodes of, of 30 Rock for uh, blackface jokes. Um, Office, The Office. They pulled an episode of The Office. I mean, this is Disney that we're talking about. Uh, Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, announced they had permanently retired multiple episodes of uh, several series, including Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Um, yeah, I know that they've had problems with the Boondocks, and some, you know, which is so weird because Boondocks was actually created by a black guy. Yeah. You know? uh, so this is interesting, though. I did not know that they censored Spider-Man and his amazing friends. I was going to say, I recognize, oh, I see why. I, I recognize, um, I used to watch it when, you know, yeah. I used to watch it. I was like, I recognize her. I used to watch it, you yeah. know? Yeah, and I do remember the episode with Red Skull. It's been a long time since I've seen it, obviously, but I remember the episode with Red Skull. Well, the Red Skull was a Yahtzee, and they go to an, an island. Actual one, not, an actual one, not somebody Yahtzee. who just voted the way you didn't like. Yep. Um. So I think it's just, you know, it's gotten to a tipping point now where these Streamers have to be like, are we going to move forward and create new content? Or are we going to constantly go back and look at the countless hours of old programming that we have and look for things to be outraged about? I mm -hmm. mean, because at this point, it's like everybody understands this show was made in like 1962 or 1942. And even like I was talking to our, our daughter and I was explaining to her, you know, she, she was kind of curious about, you know, some of the more you know racist movies and how things were a little more progressive in the 50s and 60s even. I'm like, yeah, you know, and you can see that progress, um, you know, from especially the 1930s on. But, you know, a lot of people want to forget that there there was any progress. And they just yeah, no, because they want to go, they want to say they're the ones that, that solved it. Yeah. You know, they're the, oh, we're the ones that suffered it. We're the ones that solved it. And it's like, not really. Well, it's not interesting. Really. Interesting, though, is they actually uh, censored, and I do remember this, they censored a couple episodes of, of uh, SpongeBob, uh, the Panty Raid episode, because it wasn't kid appropriate, but uh, it's mostly adults watching SpongeBob now. But anyway, yeah, I think we're going to see more of this. I think it's gotten to a point where, you know, Hollywood, especially now being cash strapped, they have to look at the situation and be like, we cannot waste money on this. We cannot, you know, burn bridges with consumers. It is what it is. The stuff has been out there for decades. And most of the people on Twitter that are complaining about it have never even watched the movie or the show or whatever. Because if they had, they would realize that in context, a lot of the stuff isn't as, as quote unquote problematic. No, I mean, yeah, Tropic is. Thunder is hilarious. And yeah, like, oh, all you're seeing is that. But in the context of the movie, it's the dude's a dumbass. That's the point. That's the point. They're, <laughs> I mean, they're actually like you make, shouldn't be doing this. Is the point? Yeah, they're making fun of Hollywood being up its own ass. Yeah, you know? and they're making fun of Hollywood like doing stuff like putting this guy in blackface, you know, for a character. It, and they keep saying, "Oh, he was all about it." It's like, no, that's the joke is that they're kind of assholes and they shouldn't be doing this in the first place. And it's self-aware. And people, you know, if you've never seen it, you're not going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and again, it's, yeah, we have a lot of these outlets like the Mary Sue that, you know, went on and on for years about there are no strong female characters in science fiction. Then, like, last year, they're like, oh my God, I watched Alien for the first time. Wow, what a strong female character. What a strong female character, 1979. They, you know, yeah. And what? they're trying to, yes, I know. It's like they actually had them, they've had them for decades. It's like, yeah, just shut up. You know, it's same with all the all the pop culture Dungeons and Dragons. It was problematic. It's like it, you literally showed up last year last year and decided everything was yeah exactly was a problem. Yep. So anyway, we're gonna wrap this yep. up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.